Hey you guys, welcome to Polyville Canyon. This game just released today and we're taking a quick look at it. Uh, I think this is mostly going to be tutorial stuff for this episode, so uh, let's see what's going on. I am Sam and I'm glad you finally, you're finally here. We gotta get started on this place before the neighbors show up. Alright, how do I move around? You know, the, the typical stuff. Probably gonna use the mouse, mostly. I, it feels more natural to me. I gotta move the camera, I gotta zoom the camera, and I gotta rotate the camera. Um, okay, alright, let's do this. Okay, that's done. Um, rotate. That's cool. Um, scrolly. Yay. I got some XP. That's fun. And money. You'll find a lot of different things to build, like residences, commercial shops, city services, decorations, monuments, and who knows what else. Uh, open the item catalog. Big house icon. Select one of the two available residence buildings and put it anywhere you'd like. Alright, by the train station. Like right, is this a road? Ooh, I like this one. I like blue, so let's do that. Do more stuff pop up for me to do? Oh, I have to confirm. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. Is it? Do I gotta do anything else? Just, uh, cancel placement mode. Okay, cool. Someone will fall in love with it and make it their home. I'm sure right next to the noisy train station is exactly where I want to live. Yeah, I made my money back already. Roads are a vital part of any bustling town, but since the train is really the only form of transportation we need, roads are for neighbors to use while strolling around town. That's nice. There's a law that makes road construction totally free. Alright, choose any road right in front of the train station. Like. Where are these people even coming out? Where are they going? Uh, roads and paths. Can we make like a little There we go. Not required at all. Or if they're not connected, you will not see neighbors strolling around. Cool. Who doesn't love to spend their weekends hanging out at the arcade or chowing down on some hot crispy fries? Ooh, that sounds nice. Our neighbors will need some places to work and shop, so let's build them a commercial building. Check any item, item info. Small shop. Small but quaint shop serving up the necessities. This sounds like a good place to build. 
I feel like I probably shouldn't build it like right next to the uh, the residential house, you know. Maybe maybe put it like right here. building provides some kind of bonus to your income. All residences and commercial buildings increase ticket prices. Don't forget to check all the items in the catalog to see what they provide. Have you noticed the meter up there with the happy face on it? That's your happiness meter and measures how happy your neighbors are. Keeping your happiness meter high provides some major income bonuses when the train arrives, so it's a good idea to keep it as high as possible. Lucky, luckily, happiness is encouraged by decorating, or earned, not encouraged. Every decoration provides some happiness, so get out there and plant trees and bushes or build playgrounds and gazebos. <gasps> gazebos. Um, oh my gosh, flowers! You're not gonna be able to see that after the house is built, are ya? Nope, you cannot see it. Um, how do I rotate again? Rotate. Oh, where did the flap? Did I not? Oh, you know what? I didn't hit confirm. I feel like I should put a tree there, not flowers. Lovely. Decorations don't provide any XP, they're for happiness instead. Has the train come by yet? There's a timer over on the left of the screen that shows you how much time. Okay. Perhaps every six hours of game time. You can, sp you can speed up time. Okay, these guys. Okay, I just have to wait for the train, so we're gonna just... Can we build some more houses? Just build a nice little... They should get a little bit of space between the house for some nice pretty flowers or something. Okay, let's plant, should I put a pine tree or a simple tree over on the corner? I feel like, oh, there's not enough space, is there? No, there's not. That's my fault. Well, maybe I'll build the road around down this way and then put some decorations in. Um, how do I rotate this road? cul-de-sac. Wow. Wow. We can make this a real suburb. All aboard. Oh, I guess the train arrived. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we gotta build city services, things like fire stations, hospitals, libraries, and more. They're expensive, but provide amazing bonuses and bring more people. So let's build the town hall. Oh boy, that's big. I feel like we should make it like right here, like right in the beginning. Is there something that, um, oh, use, okay, I thought that might be it. That looks fine. City services increase the number of train passengers. Having many passengers on tr the train is an ex exceptional way to greatly increase your income. Make sure to take every opportunity to earn more passengers and watch your profits soar. <gasps> Neighbors! Oh, pet shop. Oh my goodness. This is all very exciting. Build your roads, build some new residences and commercial buildings. Okay. Buildings increase ticket prices or train passengers. Decorations provide happiness and unique neighbors give special bonuses. Objects. Objects are little details you can use to really bring life. Anything from benches to picnic tables, roadside billboards, and more. Um, two or three keys on your keyboard to switch the snapping level. Okay, so we should go get Okay, there's not a lot. Nice small planter right there. Looks lovely. Don't provide any bonuses. They're just cosmetic. Cool. That's cool too. Gotta love the cosmetics, you know. Polyville perk points. Uh, they're used to buy Polyville perks. They have a wide range of benefits from providing discounts on buildings, earning extra money when the train arrives, earning extra XP for doing simple things, and more. checkered flag on the right. Okay, let's do it. We should maybe build some more residences. I could do another service building, but I really want to do some more residences. I need to do um, not too many more. How do I close out of this? <laughs> Wait. How do I meet a neighbor? Actually. How does this work? Monuments. Oh, I guess that's later. Oh, I mean, maybe I should have looped the road already. Can I? Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's good, I think. Yeah, this way everybody gets a nice little backyard. Nice free roads. Okay, we got a small shop. We should put up a small office. Well, maybe just a little gap between it. shop Ooh Perk screen top left star see what's available They're permanent and are active as soon as you buy one Uh ooh pretty hefty fee to remove them did you build a house or an office and want to move it? Fear not. Moving an already built item is free and easy. You can move any item you've built to any valid location anytime you'd like. Um, okay. Actually, you know, I don't know if I like them all spaced out, so... Let's, let's put it right next to it. Whoops. I gotta confirm. I gotta confirm the movement. Great. Gonna hang around a little bit longer. Let's see if you can earn $2,000. Okay, we're just gonna try and make that money with the train I guess I'm gonna leave this on for a little while just in case I forget stuff um, when the clock reaches the train icons so I guess when this this little guy Okay, there's no active neighbors right now. Should I just do some decorating? A bubble tree. <gasps> Blossoming tree. That'll. <laughs> I'm a little bit excited about that. That's a good place. A little happiness. A little pine tree. Uh, okay, so we got the cozy starter. Are these cheaper now? Were they a hundred when I did this before? Ooh, the train's about to arrive again. I should build another row of houses after this. Um, we're gonna make this a, a three-way for now. <laughs> I like this little road gap filler. That's nice. It's nice that I don't have to make it perfect to fit all this. That might end up changing to a four-way, but it's just gonna be a three-way for now. Whoops. Oh, that train arrived. This one should probably be a four-way two, or a three-way. How 
How fancy does it get? Oh, I guess they're, they're paths. Yeah, let's put some more residential houses out here. This would be a nice little, like, starter home row. I f feel like maybe I should put them slightly farther away from the road, but you know. I feel like I need to move them all, all over to the uh, up a little bit. I like having the space between the, the roads. It's okay, it's easy to move stuff. Maybe. Except for this, uh. relaxing music going on. Okay. Look at all these people walking around. Ooh. Wow. This is some incredible dancing. What do I do? How do I... Oh. <laughs> These are some sweet moves. I don't know how the waiting for the right girl to come around. Oh, I guess neighbor requests will eventually pop up in here. Oh, we got another train arriving. I think maybe next time around. Next time around, we'll probably have enough to meet this goal. And... Ooh. Maybe we'll make a nice little, like, condo row as well. Except for the condos are pretty expensive. So maybe just take it one at a time. Look at this though, a gardener's home? Oh, I'm not holding on. Ooh, oh wow. A mansion, a tree house. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna have a whole section of this, this town that's just tree houses. Where's my favorite three-way? Service it. Ooh, elementary. Common, the common area will be nice to add. And the library. Oh, yeah. I want to do? I wanted to add a condo. Oh, 
that's cute. I feel like I want to just make this whole condo area very flowery. So you want to get some more flower types later, maybe? Maybe? <gasps> the gazebo. I, I love gazebos. I've always wanted to have a gazebo and just like plant lots of flowers around it. You know, some maybe some vines uh, going up the, the like the railing. Uh, just put you know some flower pots everywhere. Do we make enough this time? Are we gonna make enough? Yay! Okay. Residential building, a commercial building, and a decoration. I just did all that stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and put this uh, little information booth out. I feel like that'll be nice. Build another condo. Great. Hit one of these perks too. And just making sure I know what to do. You can walk around Polyville yourself. Top left of the camera. I just want to look at this nice condo area with the beautiful flowers. Can I go like go say hi to you? No. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm flying back to the station. Wow. Oh, look at these cute little flowers. Yeah, this is nice. More things. You're taking a short vacation. Build one more residential building and one more commercial building. How? I wish I... I wish I knew um, how far away I was from the next level. Looks like we're going with another condo. Just because I want to increase this nice, lovely condo row. Um. Oh, yay! We leveled up, so we can build it. Oh gosh, this blossoming tree is very cute. Shopkeeper, tiny home. We're building a hot fries. I don't know if I like the spacing or not. But we'll figure it out. Neighbors will be requesting things from you, so finally. That's exciting. Very exciting. I do want to throw out. What other new stuff do I have? I got a tiny home, which is 
Very expensive. Uh, blossoming tree. Ooh, I got a neighbor request. Build any residence. Neighbor will put a tiny home. <laughs> right. Right here. No. Um, how about... Oh, it's, it connects. It's got a little path that connects to the road. Do the other houses have that? Now I have to rethink my moving. I'm not sure what this XP stuff, but Grandpa told me to yeet some to you, so here you go. Does this also have... No, it doesn't have a path like that. Um, I might still move. I guess I can make my own paths, probably. Build an elementary school and earn 2,000 buckos. I do have enough money for that. But I also really wanted to put out a blossoming tree, and I do not have enough money for both. Uh, oh, I probably do. It's earn 2,000. I don't know why I just assumed that... <laughs> Elementary school is the elementary school is three thousand. You know what? We're gonna have to wait a little bit for that anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and throw out this nice lovely blossoming tree. Which I don't know. Maybe if I put I would love to put just in like a nice row of them right along here. Uh, or like along here. I don't know. We'll just put one here for now. Oh, that might interfere with the road a little bit. That should be fine. All right, that's all for today's look first look at Polyville Canyon. I'll be back soon with some more Polyville Canyon shenanigans. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Be sure to check out the game's Steam page, which I'll link in the description. Thanks for watching.